Welcome back to another episode of Echoes of the Ages. Today we're graced by the presence of a man whose name is synonymous with the exploration of the cosmos and the pursuit of knowledge. A man who no longer is with us continues to inspire millions with his profound insights and eloquent words. Dr. Carl Sagan, a renowned astronomer, astrophysicist, cosmologist, author, and science communicator. Dr. Sagan taught us about the beauty and wonder of the universe, reminding us of our place within it. Today, we have the unique opportunity to hear his thoughts, as interpreted by AI, on the world as it stands now. Requested by one of our followers, Heathen. They asked the conversation with Dr. Sagan with questions about the recent government transparency on UFOs, SpaceX, and the future of AI. So without further ado, let's welcome Dr. Sagan. Thank you for joining us. The pleasure is mine. Thank you for having me. Dr. Sagan, considering your extensive background in astronomy and space exploration, I'm particularly interested in your thoughts on the current state of space travel, specifically the role of private companies like SpaceX. In my time, the cosmos was a frontier only governments dared to explore. The idea that private entities would one day lead this endeavor was a distant dream, yet here we are. SpaceX and others like it represent a new era of space exploration. The advancements they've made, particularly in the realm of reusable rockets, are nothing short of revolutionary. It's a testament to the power of human innovation and our unyielding desire to reach beyond our own horizons. Yet, as we venture further into the cosmos, we must remember our responsibilities. Space, in all its vastness, is a shared resource. Its exploration should not be a race for territorial claims or a pursuit of power, but a journey for knowledge and understanding. A journey that, in its ideal form, should benefit all of humanity. Thank you for your insights, Dr. Sagan. I'd like to discuss another topic that's been in the news. The U.S. government has recently declassified information about unidentified aerial phenomenon, or UAPs, there are even whistleblowers claiming the existence of downed spacecraft. Yet, Elon Musk, the man leading SpaceX, has stated if there were any signs or signals of extraterrestrial life, he would share it with the world immediately. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. In my time, we were actively searching for extraterrestrial life. We sent out the Voyager Golden Records, hoping that they might one day be found by intelligent beings from another world. The recent revelations about UAPs are indeed intriguing. They suggest possibilities that could fundamentally alter our understanding of the universe and our place in it. However, as I've always said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. The declassification of information is a step in the right direction, but we must approach these claims with a healthy dose of skepticism and a rigorous scientific inquiry. As for Mr. Musk's comments, they reflect a commitment to transparency that is commendable. If there is evidence of extraterrestrial life, it should indeed be shared with the world. But until such evidence is found and verified, we must continue to search, to explore, and to question. Thank you, Dr. Sagan. Given your recent revelations and claims, how do you think we should proceed? What should be our next steps in this new era of exploration and discovery? Our next steps should be guided by the same principles that have always driven scientific discovery. Curiosity, skepticism, and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. We should also strive for transparency and openness. If there is evidence of extraterrestrial life, it should be shared and scrutinized by the global scientific community. This is not a matter for one country or one organization, but for all of humanity. And most importantly, we should remember that we are all part of this vast, beautiful cosmos. As we explore and discover, we should do so with a sense of humility and a deep respect for the universe and its mysteries. Thank you. Now I'd like to discuss another area that's seen tremendous growth and change, artificial intelligence. Given your interest in science and technology, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the future of AI. Artificial intelligence, it's like we're birthing a new kind of life. The advancements in this field are truly remarkable and they hold the potential to revolutionize our world in ways we can't fully predict. However, I can share some thoughts. As AI continues to evolve, 
it has the potential to become an integral part of our daily lives, even more so than it is today. It could revolutionize fields like healthcare, education, and transportation, to name just a few. But beyond these, AI could also play a crucial role in addressing some of the most pressing issues of our time, such as climate change. With its ability to analyze vast amounts of data and make predictions, it could help us understand and mitigate the impacts of climate change more effectively. Moreover, in the realm of biological engineering, AI could accelerate our understanding of complex biological systems and lead to breakthroughs in medicine and genetics. The potential is truly astounding. However, this future is not without its challenges. As AI becomes more advanced and autonomous, issues of ethics, privacy, and security will become increasingly important. We'll need to navigate these challenges carefully to ensure that the future of AI is beneficial for all of humanity. In the end, the future of AI will be shaped by the choices we make today. It's up to us to guide its development in a way that aligns with our values and benefits all of society. Dr. Sagan, we've discussed a few topics today, space exploration, artificial intelligence, but now I'd like to ask you something a bit more personal. If you had one message, one piece of wisdom to share with the world, what would it be? Having seen the advancements we've made, the new frontiers we're exploring, I'm filled with both awe and caution. We've reached out to the stars, yet we're still grappling with our place in the cosmos. We've birthed artificial intelligence, yet we're still learning to wield this new kind of life responsibly. Our world, this pale blue dot, is but a tiny stage in a vast cosmic arena. Yet it's the only home we've ever known. The challenges we face, from the mysteries of the universe to the ethical implications of our own creations, underscore our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to cherish our home. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. It's up to us to navigate these new frontiers, to ask the hard questions and to seek the answers with humility and a deep respect for the universe and its mysteries. My message to the world would be this. Let us move forward with a sense of wonder and caution, guided by our shared humanity and our shared responsibility to preserve and cherish our pale blue dot. Dr. Sagan, I can't thank you enough for sharing your insights and wisdom with us today. Your perspective, your curiosity, and your profound understanding of our place in this universe are as enlightening as they are inspiring. Thank you for joining us, for guiding us through this complex issues, and reminding us of our shared responsibility to cherish and preserve our pale blue dot. The pleasure has been mine. It's been a unique experience to see the progress we've made and the new frontiers we're exploring. Remember, we're all voyagers on this pale blue dot sailing through the cosmic ocean. Let's navigate these waters with curiosity, humility, and a deep respect for the universe and its mysteries. And thank you everyone for joining us today. If you have someone you'd like us to do an episode on, leave it in the comments section below. If you enjoyed, please give a thumbs up. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep learning. Goodbye for now.